Hello everybody, Sift here again with another backpack build run and today I'm gonna try Wow, I got the rainbow badge. Gain one of every time of buff. This is gonna give us a couple of free wins early game. So uh let's get the rainbow badge. I'm gonna sell it later. And we're gonna go with Whetstone. And the build itself is going to be a hero gubert build. Uh, let's also get the flame. I don't really want all class items right now, so let's actually take that away. We're just gonna use that for wins. Uh, I would like to get a banana for early game healing. And let's roam to maybe inventory space. Very nice uh, roll. No, we're not going to roll. Let's just throw this in here and let's go. Now, what do we want to get? Let me actually do this fight and then I'm going to tell you exactly what the build's going to be. So this is a double weapon build with a Whetstone. We should lose against this. They're literally better than us. They have more max life. No, we have more max life, but they have healing as we do. And I just got all the buffs, so that should... Wow, we missed. We missed! I had five luck and we still missed. Nice, we won because of all the buffs gained. Nice, the rainbow badge is going to give us a couple of free wins in general. So what is the build going to be? First of all, I want to get a burning blade as my main weapon. So that means we're going to need four whetstones and you wouldn't sword. it. And that's it pretty much. And I guess the flames. After that, I want to find one or two king Gubert. That means we need to find two, uh, yeah, I guess one or two uh, box of riches. Let's buy the leather bag. A uh, box of riches and uh, also uh, glowing crowns. Two glowing crowns and two gubrids. So that is that. Then I would like to find one or two phoenixes and the dark lantern is going to be our class item. So we're going to go with four corrupted crystals. And that should be the build. The build is going to be a, a single or double revive build is what I'm thinking about doing. We're going to buy the healing herb cheap. Always buy things cheap is my opinion. That carries you most of the time. Um, yeah, I mean, as long as you buy things on sale, you should be getting carried through uh, the game. And we're gonna obviously put the rainbow badge in. This should destroy us. They have a lot of poison and a wooden buckler. But if we can survive 7 seconds, or I guess 6.48, getting one type of buff makes a difference. One more damage, 5% more hit chance, uh, one regen, one vampirism. All of these help out a lot. We blocked for zero there. It's a race. Uh, if they over ever overtake our life, we should lose. We won from fatigue. Very nice. The rainbow badge is carrying us, man. And we found a bow here, but I don't care about it. I'm not going to buy it. We're going to buy inventory space and the region cheap. Roll into... I uh, roll into... Yeah, we found even more inventory space, which I might be failing at doing that. Maybe we're overstating how important inventory space is right now. Uh, which it is. It is overstatement, but we will need it in general. And most of the items we need are late game. The only thing I care about early game is double whetstone. And I guess as many... Um, I guess as many chilies as possible, because chilies are good and all. We will need some kind of heat generation. Uh, we should be losing here, but we got all the buffs and we lost. They are a double weapon build with double whetstones. Fair enough, fair enough. And we found, uh, we found a forging hammer for three coins. Uh, I guess this is a free weapon. Do I really need this? What can I craft from this, honestly? Because I didn't even think about this. Let's go over here and uh, let's see what they can craft. I'm not gonna go busted blade. I could go chain whip. Although the weapon of choice is definitely the flame weapon. I could go dragon skin boots, cleansing random buffs. Although I'm not gonna ever enter bad rage. So most of the things that say when bad rage entered. No, 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 no. We're not gonna go that. This is useless. We're gonna buy a thing on sale. We're gonna buy inventory space. Now we're gonna roll. And I will actually force a whetstone if I can do so. 64% chance. I'm, I'm rolling for the whetstone. I'm seeing the gubert. Here we go. We found the whetstone. I would also like to get the panty pack, but honestly, uh, rolling into whetstones is what we're mostly gonna uh, use everything for the next couple of turns. We're still going for uh, the good old rainbow badge, so let's see how this is gonna go. Uh, theoretically, we should be winning, because actually, yeah, because we have the rainbow badge, theoretically we should be winning, is what I'm saying here. Although, this guy is healing like crazy, and they also have scaling 7 to 8 damage. How often did they scale already? Oh no, they have the hero sword. Yeah, fair enough. We lose this one. We lose this one down to three lives. Rainbow badge is going to give us some kind of random roll. It didn't. Nice. Let's get the whetstone, of course. Let's also get a random cheap food item. Uh, roll again into the another whetstone if possible. Right now, it is 45% chance. I'm going to still buy a single item burning coal here. Let's put it on over that. And it's still rolled for the final chance. Nah, didn't really happen. It is what it is. It's going to become less and less and less chance now the more we're playing this. Uh, but we can't really do anything about it. Let's go on. I also would like to find some chili peppers this guy has a steel gourd already that's pretty bad for us and they also have a spike shield which is also pretty bad for us but we have a burning blade a sword which scales the more heat we gain this thing scales and damage uh, they also scale obviously with a gourd so this is doing 10, 12 to 13 right now we're gonna die this is a guaranteed loss all of these buffs we even lost the vampirism we have three region of course but nah it's it's super over for us this thing is doing crazy damage 14 to 15 i'm still at six to eight we lost this one too. Off to two lives. So this is a sift video if it ever was one. And I found the burning blade. So we are lucky on our own end. 
I got the Burning Blade pretty early is what I would say. Find another banana. I don't think I want to go into another banana. I now want to find my corrupted crystals and my box of riches. Perfect. So now we're going to go obviously into a gem build. Uh, let's also get the inventory space. Let's throw this in and let's go. So uh, if I survive this turn, it would be nice. We're not going to survive this. Hammer is the highest DPS weapon in the game and Poison Dagger is also extremely powerful. We're going to guarantee to lose this, especially because I'm not a Spikes build. Now, obviously, we're gaining damage, and I also just got one spike. They don't have anything to... cut. No, we we're losing this one. We we're losing this one. And down to the life, last life we lost, which means every single fight from here on out is a win, or we lose the game. Uh, we're going to throw this rainbow badge out. Again, let's go with um, heat generation and 12% chance to do 6 damage, and also a chance to remove opponent's buffs. We're also going to go with a stamina sack. Obviously, I don't care about the luck, as I said. Let's roll through. I found a leather boot, which is going to give us luck and power and uh, shielding. You know what? Let's buy that as it's on sale. And most of the items we care about are uh, not really this really. We want only two goobirds, I would say, here already. And phoenixes. Flawless top us for attack speed. Honestly, I would say yes. Although it's a bit expensive. And how deep are we going to go into random things? I mainly care about getting a bunch of jelly peppers, to be honest. So uh, let's hope we're going to survive this turn. And if I do... Actually, I can sell the leather boot for three. Plus one heat. Yeah, or, or plus one garlic. So, I'm thinking about... We sell the leather boots for sure. Yeah, we, we sell the leather boots for sure. And uh, do I care about the healing orb getting sold? Let, let's sell the healing orb, honestly. Region's gonna be irrelevant. And let's transfer this over here. And you can go here and we definitely buy the chili pepper. So now we got all of these interconnected... The banana min-maxed, the garlic not min-maxed, but the chili pepper and the other garlic also min-maxed. Uh, actually, both of the garlics are not min-maxed, but honestly, who cares about the garlics? We care about the other things. And let's go. So theoretically, we... Oh no, what? Bloodthorn, are you serious right now? Well, we have double garlic for the vampirism and 20% chance to remove the spikes. I mean, that's not gonna happen. I think we lose. We have all the buffs in the world, though. Uh, we're also healing a lot and shielding a lot. So if I can get rid of these five spikes and the vampirism... That would be nice. It's a race, actually. It's a race. One more hit and we win. Nice. And I got 26 heat there. And we got the subclass unlocked, so now we're pretty safe-ish. So we're gonna go with Dark Lantern. We just happened to Harold into the sale on this thing. So lose 50% of the health right away. Re and before defeating, reincarnate with 50% life and become invulnerable for 2 seconds. And on reincarnation, deal 5 damage for each fire item uh, and inflict 9 debuffs for each dark item. Now, theoretically, the friendly fire and the burning banner is better, but we're gonna go Dark Lantern as that was the plan from the get-go. And I found the Phoenix. So that's nice. And a banana, of course. Banana is healing, I guess. Uh, this is poison, which is a bit irrelevant. I would like to buy the phoenix and the stamina pack. And I do have enough for both of these. 5 plus 11. So let's buy this and this. So uh, the phoenix now, of course, combos with the good old burning blade. The reason being... First of all, let me reorganize a moment. Okay, back. Uh, now, uh, the Phoenix combos with the Burning Blade because the Burning Blade says um, on hit, gain one heat. Every four heat gain, this and uh, weapons gain plus one damage. This is a weapon. And this thing says on attack, lose 11 health. They nerf this to the ground, by the way. And before death, use all of your heat to reincarnate with six health per uh, heat. This used to be on hit, lose 10 health and use all your heat to heal 10 health per heat. So imagine how insane this used to be. And we're going to sell this for a reroll, by the way. I don't care about poisoning. And uh, we found another fanny pack. We're obviously going to throw in the rainbow badge for all the buffs. And let's go on. I need to now start finding things. Specifically, I guess, a goobert. I need to at least... Oh, this is a scaling... Oh, no, we are dead. No, I'm kidding. We have the revive. Uh, so the first revive that happens is the Dark Lantern. And the idea is I don't want the opponent to even be able to have time to get us. Right? The idea is that... I, the whole build idea is I want to be healing a lot. So that the opponents have to go through three revives... Uh, while actually I'm still not even losing life. That's the whole build idea. Uh, let's go attack speed, I would say. And it should go like here. It should go in a way where it hits both the Phoenix and the Burning Blade. I guess the, I guess it's not going to hit the Phoenix and the Burning Blade. Everything goes to the left. I guess it's going to hit the Banana and the Burning Blade. At least the Chili Goober and the Burning Blade. I don't know. Uh, Rainbow Bad should go away again. Uh, this can go into wherever land. I don't care about this. Nice, this is better like this. Uh, this is useless, but let's roll. 
And I found my first corrupted crystal. Very nice. That's very, 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 very... <laughs> five berries later. Important. The reason is because this thing is busted. On reincarnation, deal five damage for each fire item, which is irrelevant. Like, this as at most is going to do like 20, 20, 20. But inflict nine debuffs for each dark item. Imagine having four dark items on those four uh, triangle spots. That means per reincarnate, I'm going to apply 36 debuffs, which can be like 10 blind, 10 poison. And I have two revives. So that's a lot, a lot of debuffs. I don't care about this. Let's roll away. Do I care about mana, actually? I, I mean, I found the Goobert, by the way. So I should buy the Goobert, theoretically. I guess and practically. And it should... I will be organized in a way where the Goobert is hitting both the Phoenix and the Burning Blade and everything else, too. Uh, so we will buy the Goobert next. You go here. This can be sold, but I don't really need to do so. And uh, let's go, I guess. I'm going to still stick to the idea of uh, chance to remove opponent's buffs. We still have double garlic, so I can get rid of any vampirism. This is a triple box of riches build with vampirism. So we are very good against vampirism. And we also have enough healing here to maybe maintain ourselves a little bit more. As long as I can get the vampirism rid of, we're going to be good. This guy is going to be very weak without vampirism. I still have not revived yet. So that's really good. Boom, first revive just happened. And now they're actually dying. It's too late for them. And I have a second revive coming in with the phoenix, by the way. So it's very, very important that I, not, I don't revive. The more it takes for me to revive the more powerful we get, uh, as uh, the late game revives are a lot more powerful than the early game revives. And we found a carrot. Uh, I started hitting the rainbow badge. Uh, let's buy the leather bag, obviously. You go here, and these things go here and here. And let's also buy the Gubert. Gubertico, as we always say. And uh, now, I guess, should the rainbow badge go? I don't think so. Uh, the only thing is that the very, very first shop is going to have a chance to give us random stuff I don't care about. Uh, I don't care about any of these. Roll them. And I found our chili pepper very nice in inventory space and vampirism. And you know what? I don't really care about finding gems. Although the Rainbow Goobert is going to need gems. So I guess the chipped rubies and whatnot are important. I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can fit things in the build right now. Because I want to reorganize the way where the Goobert is already re al aligned in a way that it's going to be for the rest of the game. So reorganize it, time. Okay, so uh, let's actually sell things. Sell this to get inventory space. And now I can actually reorganize again. Okay, and I reorganized okay. So now I'm gonna just sell three flames, I would say. To get another chili pepper. And we got the like the build going nice and well. And this is chance to remove buffs from opponents, honestly. So, or, or remove my own debuffs. But I would say let's go with double chance to remove buffs from the opponents. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Rainbow Badge might as well be in the build. I don't really think I care about... Am I sure I'm not care... You know what? I do actually want to increase the healing gain. So red gems are the only gems I care about. So we're gonna buy them. And I have a Goobert healing us. So once again, the idea still remains that I want to be healing as fast and as much as possible. Oh, this guy bursts us down. That's really bad. We're gonna revive here. Boom, they got a bit of debuffs. And now the second revive needs to be delayed as much as possible. And we won. Very nice. We do a lot of damage is what I am seeing here. Because we're scaling a lot of damage through the Burning Blade is the thing. And I have three revives. And this 26 heat is 26 times 6. So it's about 100 health. Actually, it's more than 100 health. Times 5 would be 100 health. So it's 126 health or something. So uh, we're healing a lot. And I, I got random items again. Axe and, uh, and an Echo Connor and a deck of cards. I don't think I care about any of these. I could go for the dragon idea. Let's buy this and let's throw the rainbow badge out for a moment. I found another phoenix. I don't think I care about it. Uh, found another chipped amethyst for removing buffs. I don't think so. We're just going to put the lifesteal on for the time being. And mm, this does not matter. We're going to continue rolling through here. We need inventory space. We need glowing crown. We need so many things. So many things. Uh, we found another box of riches. This is important. Let's buy this and this. So, uh... I would like to reorganize my food items so that they somehow are connecting over here so I can heal more from the Goobert on the one hand. On the other hand, not really. Like, uh, I mean, yeah, really, for sure. For sure, I want all of these to be connected over here. So, reorganize time again, again, again. But here we're back. Uh, so this chili pepper became a lot slower, but at least I now have a Goobert that's a bit more powerful, I would say. With one garlic and also flame going on for it. And um, yeah, I would say let's go. And now I have two boxes of riches so I can get my first King Goobert. And also this um, this heat here is going to fire right away. So the Goobert's lining up and being ready. This guy has scaling damage, which is really, really, really bad for us. 
I got my million buffs and they got a little bit of debuffs. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have another revive for 100 health, so he's gone. He's gone. We are really good at actually scaling and then killing the opponent. The revive play is really helpful. The lantern, by the way, did 15 damage. Wow. <laughs> That's the joke here. I got the poison thing. I started believing that the rainbow badge is becoming an issue. I'm losing a build option. Oh, we found another corrupted crystal. Very nice. So that makes a huge difference. I would like you to actually be one spot down. So now we have two poison items connected to that. Might as well put a flame here. You know what? Forget the rainbow badge, I would say. I think it overstayed as well. Come. Uh, we're going to just put these things in because there is no downside on having these. Uh, do I care about mana? Uh, I mean, yes, because we can use mana on the Rainbow Gubert. So uh, let's go. Let's roll once. Didn't find anything of importance. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I do need mana because of specifically how the um, King Gubert works. So now I want to find the King Gubert. Uh, let's go. I should have put another ship down with this, by the way. Removing buffs is better than anything else. Healing here is a bit meh. Uh, come on, don't kill us that fast. Okay, they got their debuffs. They got their 9 cold. Uh, let's go. Oh, a crit of 60. Oh, no, I'm panicking a little bit. No, we have another revive. I'm kidding. And they got debuffed even further. And now is the race of living or dying. And we won. Unbelievable. But having two revives that apply a bunch of debuffs on the opponents do actually work in your favor. Very nice. 180 burning blade damage. Phoenix there. I want to find more corrupt. Um, oh, I found the glowing crown. Very nice. So now we get the rainbow goobert going. I want this to combine with one of those. This with that. <laughs> So, uh, I would say, first of all, let's buy this, which is extremely expensive. Let's uh, combine those gems. And I would also say, let's actually get rid of that. Uh, you know what? I will need to reorganize for sure. Yeah, we're not going to have room. First of all, we're going to sell both of the flames and put the mana in. Is that actually true? Just roll into inventory space. Found it. Three is even perfect. So now, actually, everything fits. Yeah, this is super perfect. It should go here. Yeah, reorganize time for sure. Okay, I think we're good. I... Yeah, I think we're good. We're combining the chipped amethyst here. We're combining the chipped the ruby, the chipped amethyst. Yeah, we're just combining a bunch of random things here, which is really good. And we're gonna get the mana next turn. I think we're closing in. I have two lives. If I lose this fight, which I shouldn't really, because I think this is a good enough fight, um, we should be winning. Uh, honestly, I would like to have a healing stone on this one. Uh, but I don't think I can change where the Corrupted Crystal is. Unless I push this just back one spot. And I can just have the Corrupted Crystal one here and one there. And I'm pretty much done with that issue. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And in the same way, I can just push this one down. Yeah, very easy. Very easy. Uh, and now I don't have issues anymore. Might as well put another... Do I need energy regen? I don't think so. We're really good with energy anyway. I I'm not really wasting any energy in the first place. I'm only having a single weapon built here. And the glowing crown here is going to obviously give us what we want. We're going to combine the box of riches into that. We're going to go mana next turn. This can go into nowhere land. This is a 10% healing amp. I am healing a lot. Let's go. I think we're going very well. I think we're aligning the perfect build here. Slow this a bit down. Uh, we lose the life in the beginning, obviously. It's very important to get as much heat as possible. So we need to get more chili peppers pretty fast. Because heat is one of the two revives. This guy is getting their buffs, but they're about to get a million debuffs here. The more I can maintain my first life, the better. And I just got crit for 44 and this guy's dying. We have 7 on that. Uh, we got him. We have 31 healing anyway. 7 blind and whatnot is also insane. The more they are getting blind... Nice, I got another heat. Very nice. And look at us getting room going on. I'm gonna go with healing amplification. These two should combine. Regular amethyst. Uh, healing amp should definitely, definitely be touching uh, the Guru Gubertico. And uh, actually, I guess from the above line. Let's buy this, let's buy this, let's find inventory space. Find inventory space for five. I guess I can sell definitely yellow amethyst, as I don't care about it. And also definitely chipped a sapphire, as I don't really care about it. It is icing the opponent, but I don't care about it. Let's go here and let's maybe push some things out. You go here and you go here. And this single spotter goes there. Nice. So now I can reorganize. Reorganize time. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And from the next fight on, we're gonna have the build pretty much ready. As of this very moment, the build is not really ready. But from the next fight on, we're gonna have a, a six slaughter Gubert. And then I think we're ready to go. I don't think I want the second King Gubert now. I think we're gonna focus more on getting better gems and maybe getting more chili peppers. I think we're good with what we have. Maybe even Corrupted Crystals, that's pretty important. So let's actually try to force uh, Corrupted Crystals, Chili Peppers, and 
uh, red gems. So this is a crazy mad lad vampirism build, which is irrelevant to us because I am going anti-vampirism. 10 vampirism is a lot, of course. They also have a shield of valor here. Uh, the more we survive, the better. And we survive the first uh, death is down. Say so they have six blind now, so they should be a lot worse than what they used to be. I'm at 27 poison. I, I'm about to heal like crazy. Boom, there are 12 blinds. So they should no longer be even able to hit us, to be honest. I became immune from the glowing crown. 34 poison is a lot. It's a race, and we won the race. So what was their hit chance here at the end? 65% accuracy. Okay, because they had the brass knuckles giving them accuracy. That's why they were actually hitting us. 85, 85, 85. And the 50% crit chance indicates that they got 50% uh, accuracy from this thing. 50% crit chance, 50% crit chance. So almost lost. But guess what? We won. <laughs> Uh, easy enough. Easy enough. Phoenix Fatigue and Burning Blade. Fatigue obviously is with us because we are having Corrupted Crystals on our build. So when you have Corrupted Crystals, you are a Fatigue build. And now we got the King Gubertico, the excessive, uh, the god of Guberts in our build. Very nice. So now I'm gonna go here. I think the Burning Blade attacks faster than the Phoenix. I obviously, I want the Gubert in itself to be getting the buff from the Mana Orb. So, um, uh, because the thing is that when Gubert fires, the Man Orb is going to have 50% chance to fire. And when the Man Orb fires, there is a 50% chance, actually a guaranteed chance that the Gubert gets the buff out of that. So, obviously, that's good. Uh, these are four seconds every five seconds. I think we're good with what we're going on. We got Lifesteal. I would say increase healing. And you still just remove buffs. And uh, this is not min-maxed. But I need something to go in the middle there, which I don't really have. I guess a mana... Mm, a blueberry would be nice. <laughs> uh, how many times have I said asking you shall receive? Let's get the blueberry. Let's get the inventory space. So now this is maxed out. And this guy, in case you don't know, King Gubert, six every six item item activations, heal for twenty five and protect two buffs from removal. Every five mana I have, I'm gonna use it to become invulnerable for one second, up to three times. So that's gonna be a a little bit of a, a stagger on the opponents trying to kill us. Every time the opponents come close to killing us, this is going to trigger and we're going to become immune for one second and then we're going to heal for 25, so we're going to be protected. The opponents are going to be literally unable to remove all our debuffs, uh, all our buffs, so my buffs are going to be protected, which is pretty important. And let's try now to force Corrupted Crystals and Chili Peppers. That is the build. Boom! Asking you shall refuse the chief goes on! Always asking you shall receive. This is always a thing in my channel. This just straight up happens. We got three of them now. Uh, do I want to reorganize this in a way where we get more value out of the chili pepper? I could do something like this, this, and then this. Although this is every four seconds, and this every five, and this is also every five. Yeah, I think this is better, and the chili pepper goes also faster, which is important. Let's go. I oh, we found another glowing crown to maybe get another Gubert going, but I don't think I have room or have too many things going on. Uh, as I said, let's force the corrupted crystals i want to get a lump of coal though these are better than the flames because these say after five seconds gain two heat and cleanse three debuffs so they are straight up better than uh flames and let's roll into one last let's go and buy this and let's go on so once again we want chili peppers and one more corrupted crystals so by the way right now the dark lantern when i die the first death the dark lantern death i inflict nine times three that is 27 debuffs. If 10 of them are blind, the opponent's having is going to have a very bad time. And this is a spikes build. Well, guess what? We are remove a bunch of buffs build. So as long as I hit the empower, I just hit the empower, by the way, we're going to be good. Uh, the spikes are an issue. This guy's playing with the present. It's okay. Uh, in a moment here, I have five mana. Boom, I became immune, so they cannot hit us right now. I have five mana again. When this fires, boom, I'm immune again. Uh, so, yeah, the more we stay immune, the better. And 5 mana, boom, immune again before we die. It didn't actually happen. I was wrong about that. And we are immune from the lantern itself. And now I'm immune from the Goobert. And I'm full life. Look at this. The opponents uh, still have to go through the Phoenix revive, by the way. So they are very far away from killing us. And we got him. So we had a pocket 48 times 6 healing here at the end. So that was a 200 health healing uh, coming at the very end. And then another bunch of debuffs on them. What was their hit chance? Their hit chance was 95%. Okay, they had high accuracy, I would say. Yeah, because they had a bunch of luck. But still, we got them. 23 poison was not enough for them to get us. Easy enough. Let's go on. And let's not forget that Fatigue is always with us. Always. Fatigue is always with our side. Because we have a triple corrupted crystal. And in case you don't know how Fatigue works... Because that might be the case, you know. Um, fatigue works in the following way. 
uh, just here, the fatigue, as it says, fatigue at nightfall, both characters take increased fatigue damage every second, so how that exactly works is, fatigue is a permanent debuff you have, and if the opponent, uh, and every time you get the debuff, you get damaged by how many times you have the debuff. So for example, if you have 5 fatigue and you get a 6th fatigue, you take 6 damage. If you take a 7th fatigue, you get, you get hit by 7 damage. So when fatigue kicks in and the opponent has already 15 fatigue, they take 16, 17, 18, 19 damage, and I take 1, 2, 3, 4, right? It's always beneficial to us. I found a flawless amethyst, which is 65% chance to remove a random buff from the opponent. I'm gonna say yes to that. And uh, this here is remove buffs from us. I don't really care about this. We do want the inventory space, though. I would say we sell to flames for it. Might not be worth it, but in my book, we're just gonna go for it. I don't care. We're gonna take this every eight seconds, cleanse a random debuff, whatever that is, and let go on. Let's go on. I could also go with blueberries, but I don't care about it that much. And this is a poison build again. What's happening with the poison builds here with the flood dam? A bunch of people are playing with emeralds. And this is an actual poison build, actually. Uh, so once again, let's hope we're gonna hit the first re uh, immunity before we die. We heal a bunch. I have five mana almost. Come on, I got my five mana. Let's hit the goobert. Come on. Nice, I am immune before I died. So we just go on here, surviving, and five more mana. Let's go, Gubert again, revive before I die. Nice, another good revive here. Although, honestly, I started believing that I should first die once and then hope to revive, to not revive. I'm at 3D poison right now. Five mana, boom, I revived before the uh, Gubert, and now they have 13 cold, so they're a lot worse off. And uh, now I have 14, 22 poison, by the way. I think Gubert revive just run out. Uh, nope, I just have another one. They crit us for 94 here. That's gonna be very dangerous. Although I have a pocket 200 health coming in. And they are gonna get iced even more. Boom, there are 23 ice and 12 blind. Now 12 blind is not an issue for them because they're playing with a fencing fencing rapier build. So this thing gives a bunch of luck when it misses. But we won. Nice. Once again, revive is not really counterable with anything they are doing. 161, burning blade damage. Phoenix did 229. Fatigue also did 136. And they did 436 with their Fencing Fencing Reaper, which stacked up to 50 to 56 damage. I would like to do a Fencing Fencing Reaper build. Do you want to see Fencing Fencing Reaper build? So this thing says, on hit, use 3 luck to gain 3 damage. And on miss, gain 3 luck. So the idea is, doesn't matter how often you miss, this starts giving you luck more and more and more luck. So you're never going to actually, actually miss. And let's go on. I'm going to go with, oh, I just got another King Goobert, but I survived for 2 turns, so it's too late. It's too late. I cannot really get the second King Goobert. Yeah, it's actually too late. A bit sad here. I could have had the Glowing Crown Goobert going on a bit earlier, but it's okay. I don't really gain luck, so maybe removing a blind is going to be a good idea. Uh, but I don't care about it. And the reason for that is very simple. Uh, first of all, I do have removal of debuffs anyway. I have Chili Pepper, Chili Pepper, Chili Pepper, and then two Chipped Amethyst. But also, uh, even if I get blinded... I don't care, I just want this King Gubu to be attacking. I just want to be attacking in general and generating heat. This says on hit. Well, that is going to be an issue then. Eh, whatever. We have a bunch of debuff removal. We're going to stick to the idea that I have a bunch of debuff removal. We're going to just go with that. Uh, I need, a, I guess, max energy. Two max energy backpacks are the only things that matter here. I could go for a Wolpen Tiger for random buffs, but I don't care about that. Wonder Phoenix found another box of riches. Or three. Uh, I guess a bit too late. Might as well buy it, though. I can sell it back in a moment. Well, I found the perfect amethyst and the backpack I care about. Do I care about the perfect amethyst? I don't think so. It's a bit too expensive. Uh, let's roll. Uh, I would like to get the cup of resilience onto the corrupted crystal. But honestly, I would prefer finding another corrupted crystal. Let's roll for two. Didn't find anything. Let's go. And then last fight we're gonna... And the next fight we're gonna try to get whatever I actually need. And then that's gonna be that. Let's slow the game down again. This is a hammer build. With once again the brass knuckle. How many brass knuckles are we fighting lately, man? Now the issue is that this, this guy has not the hammer bound to the brass knuckle. So they're gonna get blinded to death. I'm not even allowing them to build heat up, by the way. Oh, this is a... Oh, they high rolled into getting this thing. The flame badge. Well, I'm getting rid of all your buffs anyway, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm still keeping my King Goobert saving us. This fight's gonna last a long while for you, man. I missed there, that's bad. I have 28 heat, I got another immunity field on King Goobert. Nice enough. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, oh, they stunned us. Oh no, they're kicking us, but now they're gonna get blinded. Nope, I'm still alive. And now you yeah, got blinded by 11. This has a 65% accuracy, this has a 25% accuracy, though hammer is pretty much useless now. The hammer has gone to bin. You no longer have a hammer, my boy. Uh, I have my 40 heat. Still gaining more heat and more healing. 
Uh, I want to see you try to get rid of everything we have going on, man. L let you, uh, let me see you try. I don't think you can get rid of anything here. We're not even losing life, and you have 11 blinds, so you're not even hitting us anymore. Uh, and you lost. <laughs> Very nice. So this thing had, as I said, 25% accuracy. Now, because they had brass knuckles, they were scaling accuracy on these things. Uh, but because I blinded them early enough, the, this thing was missing in itself. This need says on hit. It gives them accuracy and whatnot. So, um, yeah, easy enough. This is just straight up busted, man. I don't know how you're supposed to beat this. I guess with the dragons. Burning Blade 236, Molden Dagger, even more. Let's go. And this is going to be the final fight we're going to do. And we found the final Chili Pepper. Very nice. And, ooh, I should not have comboed these. Doesn't matter, though. I can just put the opponent healing reduce there, which is also nice enough. Uh, I would say let's buy the attack speed. Yeah, I mean, why not? Let's also buy the Chili Pepper. It's going to go right here. Uh, I guess the attack speed... I don't think I can put it anywhere useful. I'm thinking where I can just push to left or right. Maybe if I find another attack speed, I know. And mana again is useless. I could go for another mana orb, which is going to increase the speed at which we generate mana. It's going to go up here in this corner, like like right here. And then this is going to go somewhere else. Yeah, like the mana orb could go here. And then... Actually, no, here. And then one food item could go up there. Right? That, that would be pretty much the build idea. Uh, I guess, but nah, let's try to find one last crop crystal, honestly. And none of these. We found... Uh, no, 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 we're gonna try to get the final corrupted crystal. We're gonna try to force it. Although 10% healing amplification or opponent's 20% healing reduction. You know what? Honestly, I want the opponents to heal. So let's go with we get 10% healing amplification instead of 20% healing reduction of the opponents. Let's go with that idea, you get sold. We're gonna go with these guys are gonna remove the buffs. Come on, one last. I found it. I found it. Ask and yourself, even this is the point where we sell this and get the final corrupted crystal. And just like that, I have a maximum dark lantern decked out into everything. We can sell this one for maybe a last item here, a two coiner. Nice, we found a good old blueberry for the very end, giving attack speed to the chili pepper and the garlic. Uh, very, very nice. Actually, this cooldown, this has 3.5 second cooldown, this has 4 second cooldown. So I would say this should go here. As it fires faster anyway. And uh, these can go into wherever. So this is gonna definitely fire faster. I would like you to go like this. Yeah, nice. It gets more attack speed. Perfect, perfect. This is actually a lot better in my opinion. So we min max the mana orb a bit more. We still have a 45% chan chance to remove debuffs. And 65% chance to remove the uh, buffs, buffs, not buffs. Uh, and then we have 4 corrupted crystals. Uh, so 4 times 9 on the Dark Lantern. That is a good old 36 debuffs applied. If 10 of them is blind, opponent's toast. If 10 of them is... Uh, like, I don't want poison on them. If I can get 15 and 15 ice and 15 blind, the opponent's gone. They're not gonna win. 15 ice means everything is 30% slower, so it's insane. I also have a Flood Amethyst, and in general we have Cleanse debuff. Uh, yeah, we have Cleansing... We have chili pepper cleansing debuffs. We have four chili peppers. So that is four items that cleanse debuffs. And then we have also a, a flawed amethyst every six seconds cleansing a random debuff. And an outshipped amethyst another eight seconds. Now, normally these are seem very slow, but they're not slow because I'm a heat build. So these, all of these corrupted crystals don't fire every 5.5 seconds. The chipped amethysts don't fire every 8. And the chill peppers don't fire every 5. Like, all of these fire a lot faster because I'm a heat build. So let's actually see this in action. Let's see how this can go. Final fight here. Let's actually slow it to a crawl. Now, the this thing is an issue. Sun shield is an issue. Uh, but it's okay. This is a scaling mana build. So, and they're also a cleansing build with sun armor. But I'm removing buffs. So if I can get rid of the heat, the sun armor is not going to work. And they are eating their heat away anyway. Like the sun armor eats heat and the staff of fire eats heat. I also have the garlics, uh, two garlics getting rid of vampirism. I need to get rid of all the vampirism and then we're going to get rid of all the rest of the buffs. So uh, we are very, very anti-buff and they're also anti-buff on themselves. So heat is gone. If they don't have heat, the sun armor doesn't work. So I need to get rid of the vampirism so my random debuff removal doesn't hit vampirism. And they just got hit with 16 blind. So this thing has a 15% accuracy right now. So they cannot even hit us as of this very moment. They don't have enough chili peppers to maintain heat control. Uh, sun armor is cleansing them, but it, it's too late. They're gone. <laughs> they are gone, man. This thing still has 25% accuracy. I had still 55 heat. We had a pocket phoenix healing us for another 260 health, if not more, obviously. This had a cooldown of 1.19. This had a cooldown of 0.7. The blueberries, 1.50. Garlic, 1.78. Uh, chili peppers, 2.27. 
You see, all of these fire extremely fast, extremely fast. Corrupted Crystal, 2-5, two, 2-6, two, six, two, six, two, six. Like, everything was very fast. And once again, uh, they had a Sun Armor, which says every 3.48 seconds, use one Heat to heal for 12 and remove two debuffs. Well, guess what? You don't have Heat. Because you were eating it away with either your Staff of Fire, which says use two mana and two Heat to gain six damage, or with the Sun Armor itself, or I was eating it away with the regular Armor of the Flawless Amethyst. Um, and they didn't really generate more buffs, right? They had the Gin Lamp giving them luck or spikes, but other than that, they only had mana, which the Staff of Fire was consuming, or pretty much nothing else. They were trying to get some Blueberry buffs, they were trying to get Chili Pepper buffs, but we were getting rid of them pretty fast. So um, yeah, I think we pretty much were destroying this guy no matter what they did. I would also like to see the fatigue. I mean, look at this. The fatigue did 153 damage. And we didn't even enter fatigue. The moment the fatigue happened, how much damage was the fatigue from the fatigue itself? Uh, it should be at the 15 second mark. So, uh, wait, what? Where's the fatigue? I guess it happens on the 16 second mark. I'm, I'm trying to look. Ah, fatigue is here. So, we were doing 17 fatigue damage on them. Right? So then after that, they would have taken, after uh, 2.64 seconds, they would have taken 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21, right? 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21. And then from the tick itself, which happens every second, they would have taken another, um, yeah, 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21 and 22. So that's like 100 damage within 2.5 seconds. And then 2.5 seconds later, they would have taken 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 29. Like, they were super dead from fatigue. And once again, I still had a pocket phoenix healing us i think the idea with kung goober uh, Kugu, king gubert with chipped rubies amplifying your healing by the way this thing says i didn't even say that right effects of gemstone socket in this are increased by 50 percent so this says your healing is amplified by 20 percent it's actually 30 percent this thing thinks says 10 percent it's actually 15 percent so i had a healing app of 30 45 percent healing amplification for two joke gems right 45 percent healing amplification and that's also why my healing should be through the roof. Yeah, I mean, 189 healing from the revive. Okay, whatever. But the King Gubert itself healed us for 175. And then the Chili Peppers also healed us for 30, 25, 25 and whatnot. So we were really, really good. The heat generation here was 15 from the Burning Blade. Okay, we were very low in heat generation, but still we did most of our job. Did we have overheal? I don't think we had overheal because we started with low healing. Uh, but still, this thing healing us and keeping our buffs alive is also pretty important. Not that they had any buff removal, but just saying... And by the way, we got rid of all the vampirism. And I just realized something. This guy, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not... In general, I don't enjoy trash-talking people. But uh, th this was a noob uh, move in general. Because... Uh, the vampirism, if you read it at the bottom, says heals one health per attack when hitting with a melee weapon. And this thing, Staff of Fire, is... At the, if you read at the very bottom again... Uh, not the very bottom. It's next to the... You know, the editor's gonna round it. It says ranged weapon. So this does not work with vampirism. Now, obviously, the vampiric gloves also give you 35% faster attack speed. So maybe that's the idea here. But the blood amulet costs 9 coins. So spending 18 coins for uh, plus 15 and plus 15 attack speed, right? Because uh, the gloves are 20 and the vampiric are 35. So you're spending 9 coins for 15% attack speed. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's more worth it to just go with more gloves, is what I would believe. Now, I'm just seeing that this guy has a million fanny packs on the ground. They also had a perfect sapphire. Well, the perfect sapphire, 80% chance to inflict one ice. Yeah, where is my ice? <laughs> How much ice did they apply? They applied 10. And obviously, I have 100% removal of debuffs here, so we destroyed them there too. So, I don't know, man. Maybe they should have gone with chipped sapphire. Every five mana gain, gain two shielding. On, the, on, on this socket here. Uh, yeah, actually on this socket, to be honest. Because chance to resist poison, like, who cares? You have a crazy cleansing build. I mean, you were you were supposed to be clean. I don't know, man. A bit sad that we fought this as the final fight, but it is what it is. You know what? I don't need to trash talk this guy. We have fought against crazy opponents that destroyed us, and we didn't praise them. So why would we trash somebody that we beat? Uh, I think my build was pretty powerful, though. I, I really, really, really hope... They added a new thing here, by the way. They added in this item zone here, the item filter, where um, you can you can just go and see which item you have done what with. So let's say, for example, uh, the run I just did right now. And um, yeah, let's say I want... Wait. Why did this not get the... Wait, what? 
Oh, I have to press the alt button. So, um, yeah, this thing, for example, seen in shop 15 times, acquired one time, bought on sale zero times, survivals one, most wins 14, best survival rank. So you can literally see all the stats of the items, which, um, yeah, it's a good addition, whatever. How many times have I seen a shop? 75% have. I have seen this 75 times and I bought it 70. Uh, this is my most liked item, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I have bought it. Yeah, I think it's the one item I always, always, always buy. Buckler 70. Yeah, I, I like these stats. The fact that you can see stats. And also, I have to say, I really enjoy that they added a little bit of a tidbit down here. Wait, wait, wait. How have I acquired this twice? Oh, you cannot see it in the shop. I see. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is my most like item. Chili pepper. I uh, see in the shop. I always buy chili pepper. If a chili pepper is in the shop, you buy it. <laughs> Straight up. Buy the chili peppers, boys. Buy the chili peppers always. Um, so, yeah. What I wanted to say is, I do enjoy that they added this, but wouldn't it be so much better if they added a save the build, I think? Or if you could have your winning builds in a, in a thing here, for example. Because I don't think you need that much saving space. I mean, I don't know, coding-wise, but it would be nice if you had your builds. Maybe you could have five builds for each class, or ten builds, honestly, because let's not do the Diablo meme where the technology doesn't exist yet. It would be nice if you had ten build sockets, or 20 or infinite, honestly. Infinite would be the choice if I, I was the dev here. Infinite build choices. Maybe, you know, not infinite. Maybe 20 builds, you know. 20 build saves or 10 build saves for each class. And then, for example, I have my best dragon build. And my best... Uh, what was this? Dark Lantern build. And my best Burning Banner build. And then I could just do a run against infinite opponents forever you know just forever straight up why not why not have saved runs that you can just say fight 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 and then you can have like a thing going where oh this build here has 56 wins and 21 losses with this build here my uh busted blade run with 0 0.9 second cooldown that i did yesterday hopefully because it's gonna play at the top right has 225 wins and uh 762 losses because it's very weak against blind i don't know i mean it should not be weak against blinded because that 20 luck but you know it doesn't really matter but matter is it would be nice to have some kind of save your run and then just fight against um against full builds right only winning builds against winning builds it doesn't matter with the ranking but it would be nice to fight against and then it, you could have a different ranking right you could have a ranking that is just fighting only fighting ranking and it could have been 150 wins and 50 losses and uh, you still would just have some kind of ranking or at the end of the day the game could just say you cannot fight any more opponents with this there are no other opponents to fight there are no longer builds although i'm pretty sure people are playing this enough for more than 100 to 200 builds to be created every single like day if not a thousand builds are gonna be created every day so i don't think anybody's gonna grind this game to a point where you no longer have enemies to fight so uh yeah i hope that's going to be it i mean i don't hope uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel helps out a lot and yeah as always thanks for watching and see you guys around